Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching Peaky Blinders Season 2, Episode 1. Where do I think this season is going to go? I think Inspector Campbell killed Grace. Now, why do I say it like this? Because he had the gun to her and then it, it cut away. It showed the gunfire, right? Now, I, I've learned that if you don't see it on screen, it didn't happen. Okay, if you don't see it on screen, it didn't happen. And he didn't see her get shot. I, it was heavily implied that she's dead. But the fact that we just didn't see it on screen, I don't know. I, I don't trust it. I have trust issues. Let's say that she is dead, right? Tommy finds out that she's dead, okay? I think this season's gonna be about Tommy going after Inspector Campbell for revenge after he finds out he he killed Grace. Inspector Campbell's probably gonna try and kill Tommy in the season too for revenge for stealing Grace from him. And then also, I know Tom Hardy comes in this season and I'm gonna say Tom Hardy is Aunt Polly's son that she talked about in the last episode how she they were taken away from her her two kids were taken away from her and i think tom hardy was one of her kids that's like that's how i think they're going to introduce him. so i can't wait so anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right in this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that'll be available on patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes of peaky blinders will also be available on patreon and youtube membership so click the join button down below but anyways let's get started is it gonna show it now Oh, she had her own gun, that's right! <gasps> ah, that's right, she had her gun in her first. Fuck that fool. Oh, he's not dead. I mean, he should be dead, but like, there's a chance he's not. There's a chance he's not. So he could still try and get revenge on them later. Two years later, damn. If he died right there, I have no fucking idea what this season's gonna be about then. I'm assuming it's gonna be a completely brand new story. Oh wait, no, actually, Tommy's business is number three in the country, so so he's definitely gonna try and get it to number one in the country. That's that's one thing he's gonna be trying to do. I'm guessing he's gonna make new alliances, come up with new strategies, make an alliance with someone, fuck them over to make an alliance with someone else, you know, something like that. Alright, well. I promise my friend Freddie Thorne. Wait. And I'd say a few words over his grave. Wait. That he should pass before me. Freddie's dead? What? And in the end, it wasn't war that took Freddie. Pestilence took him. We thought now Freddie's gone. You might come back to Birmingham. That's stupid, bro. The actor had to have like left the show or something. That's why he's dead. They're like there's no way that they did that intentionally. Something had to have happened behind the scenes to where they had to do this. We're planning an expansion. I'm taking premises in London. Tommy, it's a funeral. Business can wait. Polly, if Ada was weeping, then I'd stop. But she's not. <laughs> Gonna be dangerous to be a Shelby in London for a while. Well, I'm not a Shelby anymore. And I'm not a thorn now either. I'm free. Mm. You were a thorn. Freddie died. So you automatically come back to a Shelby. You're not you're not just nothing, okay? You're not in limbo. But I mean obviously it seems like she wants nothing to do with her family anyway, so. This is all over the place. Confetti. Who? Who the fuck would blow up our pub? Six. Six what? Six questions since you walked through that door. <laughs> Soon you're gonna have to start bring the man with the answers. Because when London happens, you'll have to hold up your end. Oh, we'll find somebody else who can. You know, it's funny they put that mask over Tommy because it's like the Scarecrow mask, kind of. He played Scarecrow in Batman Begins. You blew up my pub. Anger defeats fear. You blew up my pub. <laughs> the king offers you a peace treaty, and you start a war about it. That's funny. Don't you think? A war about peace. Yeah, war about peace, and so <laughs> sent a message. Your name is Irene O'Donnell. You have a son at the Cherrywood Road School in Harborn. His name is Sean. He comes last in every race. Why are you saying this? You're giving them more reason to kill you. You know, you know too much about them. You can hurt them, hurt their family. But if he knows this, so does his family. So, like, look, I'm not the only one who knows this information. So you kill me, my family's coming after your family. Tells him I am. By an informed consensus. I have things to do. <laughs> From now on, Mr. Shelby, you shut your fucking gypsy mouth and listen to your instructions. He's cool, dude. <sighs> He's gonna plot against them so hard. Ah! This is 
so pissed. He doesn't be. He doesn't like being told what to do. I guess he's in a position where he has to do what they told him to do. For now. I've uh, got some information you might be interested in. An old friend of ours coming back to the city. It's, uh... Campbell. It's Campbell. He has a cane. He's got shot. He has to walk with the cane now. Yeah, that's him. That's him. Make your peace with God. In seven and a half minutes, the man in that cell is due to be hanged for murder. Ooh. He says the man who hired him was an intelligence service chief of staff. Carries a cane with a wolf head handle, a bullet wound in his right leg. Yeah. <laughs> no. Still no bells. Yeah, it doesn't sound familiar. Well, yeah, I know his camera's gonna let him die. That's fucked. Get out of an apprentice. So was training for the fighting pitch or something? When did we all take a vote on this expansion, sir? The Shelby Company Limited has been making a hundred and fifty pounds a day. So what I want to know is why are we changing things? Look what's happened already. I mean, Seth foot in London, yeah? I have kin in Shepherd's Bush and Portobello. It's more like wars between armies down there. And the coppers fight side by side with them. Of a child. I want John to see him grow up. Oh yeah, this is John's wife, right? Yeah. But London is just smoke and trouble, Thomas. Thomas. Yeah, we shouldn't fuck with them. We should not go anywhere near that. It's too dangerous. It'd be very naive of us to go to London. We'd be in over our heads. There's enemies in London we do not want to deal with. After the first few weeks, nine tenths of what we do in London will be legal. Any of you want no part in the future of this company? Walk out the door. No one's gonna leave. For those of you with ambition, Ooh. expansion process begins tomorrow. Yeah, Tommy's doing this with or without you. So if you don't want to be a part of this, get out of here. But no one left, so. Give me the combination, Polly. Polly. Give me the combination. She doesn't trust him. All the London bosses will be at the races. I'd say you just roll up and take the city. No. We take the opportunity to show our hand. The Italian gangs and the Jewish gangs have been at war in London for six months. It's not our war. The Jews have been having the worst of it. They need allies. Yeah, but we don't. We could help. We could be their allies. The Jews control Camden Town. We're going to help them out now, and we're going to fuck them over later when it's convenient for us and helps us. It's this cleverness that will kill him. No one gets killed, Polly. We get home tomorrow when it's quiet and we leave our message. You don't listen to a word we say. Maybe you don't trust us. She was one woman, Thomas. Ned, you and the boys go and get yourselves killed. Yeah, and Polly knows it's a horrible idea. So much risk. But Tommy's confident they'll get it done. Bro, he doesn't. He's still thinking about Grace. I could see it in his eyes. Are you going to London now? Something I have to do first. Will you come back before you go? Probably, probably not. No. <laughs> oh, he's paying her. Oh, I thought this was just like a girl he was into. I wish just once you wouldn't pay me. Oh. As if we were ordinary people. Is she like a prostitute or is he just paying her because like, he, I don't know, just because he can. I don't know. It'd be kind of funny if like she wasn't a prostitute and then he was paying her regardless because <laughs> it like, feels bad or something. Let's begin. Hands on the table. What are we about to do a fucking Ouija board? What are we doing here? He was taken six months ago by the influenza. That's the girl who interrogated Tommy earlier, right? I think it is. Truth, sorry. Truth is, I'm not even sure she's dead. So I came here to find out. Or her daughter. See, my son and my daughter. Yep. I've had a feeling and I'll keep having a dream. Yeah, your intuition's telling you. You gotta go and find them. Especially now that like, like lost Ada too. She wants to talk to me because I'm her mother. But if she does want to say goodbye, I thought this would be the place. Oh, because yeah, she doesn't know if she'll ever see her again. It's unlikely. But I think we find. But the part of me that dreams is Gypsy. Mm, yeah, that is the girl who interrogated Tommy. And the dude right there. They called Tommy a Gypsy earlier. So they are like, mm, They probably know who Aunt Polly is too. So it's like... My maiden name is Shelby. Oh, Well, I just gave it away. <laughs> if they didn't know. <laughs> 
What? She says she's dead? Ah, uh, yeah. No! Well, with my theory that Tom Hardy is her son, Michael, we should find the daughter, too. Unless the daughter could be dead and we only get Michael. I don't know. But, or I'm completely wrong and Tom Hardy's not her son, so. Do you just know something? That woman is a trickster. Her sister was in the washhouse early, boasting there being a Shelby at the table. Gypsies talk to each other. You went to see Mrs. Price in the patch last night. I'm sorry. Bullshit. So what you know? The man is a cousin. He pushes the glass. It's a trick. Yeah, it's a... They tell you what you already believe. Yeah, it's a fucking scam, bro. You set up after the war because of all the widows. Just thought you should know. And in this fucking wash house, did they tell you why I went there? See if your daughter's still alive. You tell a soul in this family, and I swear, I will cut you. You don't need a knife to stop me telling secrets given in confidence. Ooh. It is a matter of honor. Exactly. I like her. Put it away. Fuck off! <laughs> Dude, Arthur's demeanor is so fucking, so fucking angry now. Just the lieutenant, son. I'm son of the officers. And yeah, Tommy's still thinking like a soldier. He always will. I say you have no business coming south of the line without our agreement. Oh, well, when you tell him, we're on holiday. <laughs> You're breaking the rules. They say you are the pinky blinders. Nah, that's not. Ooh, sh oh shit! Oh right, shit! Just... Hey, at least Arthur's been trained for this. Mm -mm. Yeah, dude, Arthur's so bloodthirsty. Put your mice on him. <laughs> Get out. Yeah. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> you ain't squeezing shit. Didn't think so. <laughs> we came here not to make enemies. No. We came here to make new friends. Those of you who are last will soon be first. You know where to find us? Oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> so. What business is so urgent, it trumps lunch. I need your authority to proceed with all urgency, pairing the new man for the bigger task. You're talking about your bookmaker. This isn't. I know this man's weaknesses intimately. And after mission accomplished, do we trust him to keep his mouth shut? Absolutely not, sir. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna kill him. So, when he served his purpose, it's been this man's destiny since the night he was born. That's fucked. But I'm assuming this is this new man is to take down Tommy. And this guy's a bookmaker, so probably trying to run Tommy's business out of business. Trying to beat him in business or whatever to him. That's some petty shit if that's what he's trying to do. Not just kill Tommy, but ruin his business too. Mad in the head. But Thomas Shelby uses his own brother. Stop fucking farting me. Somebody has to. That arrived an hour ago. There's no name on it, but it comes from Camden Town. Well done, Tommy. You picked a side. Now you're at war with Sabini. Yeah, good, good job, Tommy. Good job. Definitely wasn't his intention by going to London, but he didn't make an arrangement to show up. He just showed up and then started a fight, and yeah. Tommy's a bit in over his head. He thought that would work. He thought that would get them to join him, but no, nah, they don't. They don't take shit like that from anyone. So Tommy's not the only one who has a strong clan. So what the fuck is this? Oh no! Ooh. Your brother broke the rules. I don't have a fucking brother. Me and my friend. Fucking hold him! God damn, taking all these guys to hold Tommy. Ah. God damn. Tommy Shelby. I missed you at my club. I was at the races. Sounds familiar. Wait. Uh, don't say my name. Oh my god. Oh my god. Take my name out of his mouth. He this dude's from Game of Thrones. <laughs> I think his name was Block or something like that. Oh my god, what are they doing? That's how he's familiar. Uh, uh, oh, they're taking his tooth? Uh, ah. That's cool he's in this. 
I like his. I like the actor. I enjoyed him in Game of Thrones. So. See how much I know about you. I even know what's in your fucking mouth. You take up with the Jews. Yeah. You think that's what London's all about? Just come down, pick a side. You fucking clown. Now your life is over. Finish him off. Hmm. Obviously they don't. Oh yeah. The police. Subtitles. Like, that's clutch. Yeah, Tommy's cool with them now. Oh, like he's paying them off, but like this, this dude's actually kind of cool now. Oh, is this fucking is Campbell with the cane? Oh my god. I suppose we should see if the bastard's still alive. All right, well that was episode one of season two. All right, Tommy's Tommy's a bit in over his head now. You know, he thought he could just walk into London, do whatever you want, choose someone to pick a side with, you know. He thought it would be a good idea to go in there and flex on them and show them how powerful they are, show their hand, you know, and he thought that would get them to join them, you know, because they'd be intimidated, like, oh, make them think like, oh, I should probably join them, you know, but nah, he thought wrong. Sabini humbled his ass so quick. Sabini tracked him back down to he ran up on him and humbled him. So yeah, I think Tommy needed this makes to make him realize he doesn't know everything he can't predict everything because i mean but technically if what he thought would happen happened then it all would have worked out but nah he that's where his downfall is like he thinks he knows all and aunt polly tried to warn him but like he has no idea how anyone's gonna react the only thing he can do is just guess and he thought his guess was and he thought his guess was better than anyone else's so that's where he's very arrogant but yeah now inspector campbell has him so i'm curious to see what he's gonna do with him i don't think he's gonna try and kill tommy i think he wants to make him suffer i think he wants to ruin his life before he like kills him honestly because can't i feel like campbell is that petty and then aunt polly went to go see if her daughter's still alive and you know like esme said they just told her like what she already believes in because that's how they get your money out of you you know if you already believe something you're they're probably not be, gonna be able to convince you otherwise since you already believe it's so hard and you just want confirmation you just want confirmation bias out of it so it's a good scam but it's very unethical you know like esme said they after the war started so if your husband's in the war and like you're worried about them they could give you confirmation of what you already think like oh i i hope he's safe you know but yeah your husband's doing fine he's not dead blah blah gives them more peace of mind and they make a lot of money so but yeah that was peaky blinders season two episode one comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching